Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV. From an exciting new mission to bring back samples from the Red Planet to monitoring space weather, these are the highlights from the second day of the Berlin Air and Space Show. Mars is currently the only planet in our solar system on which there is a strong possibility of finding life, either past or present. While a number of missions already work hard to provide data on the Red Planet, the prospect of bringing samples from Mars back to Earth was presented at ELA. This Mars sample return mission would be the first round-trip mission to the planet. This is enormous. This kind of Mars sample return project, it's not one spacecraft, it's a, almost a, a, an armada, a fleet of missions to go there, uh, take the samples, um, put them safely in, a, in special tubes to, pr to protect them, launch them off the surface of the planet, we've never done that before, uh, rendezvous in orbit around the planet, uh, transfer from one spacecraft to another, kind of a relay race, bring it back to Earth, come back through our atmosphere and take it to our laboratories back here on Earth. Every mission to space needs a launcher to get it off the ground. Securing Europe's independent access to space was the focus on Thursday morning. With the launch of the first Ariane 6 foreseen in 2020, this launcher is expected to be the next workhorse for Europe. Ariane 6 today is a reality. We just tested at the beginning of the year the two engines, Vulcan 2.1 and Vinci. At the same time, we now have to fly European for all our institutional missions, Galileo, Copernicus, scientific uh, missions of the European Space Agency and of course on Earth observation as well. A panel also discussed the need to look at the evolution of the launcher to decrease the costs in order to be competitive on the worldwide market. It was a rainy day here in Berlin, but the focus quickly shifted from Germany's weather to space weather when Europe's first space weather monitoring mission, called the L5 Lagrange Space Weather Mission, was presented. The mission will monitor and forecast potentially dangerous solar events. Small events happen all the time. We have almost weekly uh, something which is related to space weather. Um, and those have some cost, so actually we want to give uh, daily a precise space weather forecast. What we really are concerned about are the big extreme solar events, because uh, those events which happen fortunately rarely, maybe once every 100 to 200 years, those could seriously disturb our infrastructure, including everything that we have in space, uh, satellite-based services on the Earth, and even the power grids on the Earth. The wealth of data from Earth-observing satellites not only provides crucial information about our environment, but supports our economy. A discussion was held on how businesses are benefiting from satellite data, and from advances in digital data processing, such as in the agricultural sector to boost productivity. The Space Pavilion saw a number of important guests on Thursday. Germany's Minister for Digitalization, Dorothy Barr, paid a visit, as well as the State Secretary in the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Labor and Housing, Katrine Schutz. The replay of selected events and exclusive interviews happening here at ELA are available on our website www.esa.int. Thanks for watching.